Hi dear students, I am here to tell you about the NSEP exam. Now apart from NSEP, there are other exams also that happen but let's specifically focus on the NSEP exam. So the website that you see behind me, it is iapt.org.in. That is the website on where, uh, where you will find all the details regarding the NSEP exam as well as other NSEs also. So the NSE stands for National Standard Examination and NSEA would be National Standard Examination in Astronomy. Similarly, NSEP would be National Standard Examination in Physics, then Chemistry, then Bio, then Junior Science. So all of these examinations are there. This year, the dates on which this exam will happen is also mentioned here. The timing is also mentioned here. So that is about the schedule and that is uh, about this year dates. This is the website where you will find all the details. Now, what exactly is this examination? So guys, this examination NSTP is the first stage of the Olympiad examinations. When I say Olympiad, I am not talking about the Olympiad that keep on happening in your school and which happen, which start happening at your in your school right from grade 3 or 4. I am not talking about the SOF Olympiads. I am not talking about those guys. That's a you know, private entity which conducts those uh, Olympiads. I am talking about the Olympiad where you get selected. You are selected to represent India at an international level. These Olympiads or uh, you know this Olympiad is conducted by the government of India or the agencies which are funded by the government of India and this happens to be the first stage of this examination. So that is the first thing that you should know about this examination. And of course it is an exam which check which checks your excellence in the subject of physics. Okay as you can see the exam happens in the month of November. The level of the question matches the level of questions in JE advanced examination and because it happens in the month of November, uh, you know, it's happening around seven months before the JE advanced examination, Appro approximately six to seven months before JE advanced examination is happening. The syllabus of NSCP is same as the JE syllabus. All right. The level is same as the JE advanced level, which means that if you're writing this exam, you're practically doing a rehearsal although it is only for subject physics but you are practically rehearsing your performance in the JE advanced examination six to seven months before the actual examination because all the good scholars they write this exam and therefore you get to see the kind of competition that you will face in the JE advanced examination also. So from that perspective even if you don't desire to compete for the you know upcoming stages of this exam still you should write this exam so that you see what kind of competition you are going to face and if you feel that you are quite behind right now then you get six to seven months to improve yourself and to then give competition to others so that is an added advantage of this exam now coming back to this exam this exam is the first stage of olympiad the question paper will consist of 60 questions you will be uh, required to attempt these 60 questions in a span of two hours that is 120 minutes 48 questions out of these will be single choice correct okay and 12 questions will be multiple option correct in which one or more than one option can be correct the level as I said will match the level of J advance from the entire uh, India approximately 300 students are selected the number is not fixed um, the number keeps on changing you know the number depends on the state to which you belong so from every state some students are selected and the number is fixed corresponding to every state there are certain rules because of which the number keeps on fluctuating it can cross like for example if there are 30 students to be selected from Karnataka it may go up to 33 34 35 yeah, that depends on the rule set okay now these approximately 300 students then compete for the next stage which is Indian National Physics Olympiad or we call it as INPHO examination. This examination generally happens by the end of the month of January. So uh, towards the end of November, you will write this exam and then approximately two months later, you will write the next stage of this exam. The result for this gets declared towards the end of December. So you write this exam, then approximately one month later, you get the result of this. Approximately one month later, after that, you write the second stage INPHO. Now, INPHO exam is given by the pool of 300 students who cleared the NSEP exam. Out of these 300 students, approximately 30 to 35 students are selected for the next stage, 
which is called the orientation come selection camp this camp usually happens in mumbai in hbcsc and uh, there you are called for about 10 10 to 12 days uh, a lot of tests happens uh, they teach you theory and then they conduct tests on that theory and they ask you to do some practicals also and based on that uh, then from that pool of 30 to 35 students a uh, five member team is made and uh, then you are you know if, if you are part of that team then you are representing india in the international stage the next stage so next stage is called the ipho examination it is the international physics olympiad and that happens in you know various country uh, you know year to year the countries keep on changing and uh, then you go there then you compete at the international level and if you do well then you make us proud you win some medal maybe silver maybe bronze maybe gold and then you make us proud you make the teachers proud you make the parents proud and most importantly you make the country proud so that is about the scheme of this examination and uh, i believe that this examination is super important in the journey of any iit aspirant so if you are preparing for iit irrespective of whether you have targets to prepare for inpho or you know the selection camp orientation selection camp whether you plan to do that or not at least give the nscp examination because it is totally in sync with the uh, j advanced examination the second stage there was an important point that i uh, missed uh, to tell you the second stage consists of uh, you know questions which are subjective in nature so the inpho exam that will happen in that you will be given questions and you will have to write the entire solutions and you have to submit that so uh, therefore you know the preparation becomes different from the kind of preparation that you need for j advance you know so therefore some sometimes the students say that sir we don't want to dedicate time to prepare for subjective questions and therefore we should not be writing this uh, you know we should not be embarking on the journey itself or the journey of the olympiad but that is not correct guys the first stage it consists of questions which are objective in nature which matches with j advance pattern and level and it gives you a window into the kind of competition that you will see in the j advance so it's a great opportunity don't miss that definitely write this exam bye bye students